Hi, Delaney. Hi, Dr. B. Nice to meet nice you. To meet Thanks you. for coming in today. Um, so it seems like when you called your, the office, you were having some neck pain. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll perform a full chiropractic and back assessment on you today, just to be sure since we haven't seen you before. But um, I want to hear a little bit more about what's going on. So uh, can you tell me about the neck pain you've been having? Yeah, so it's been um, honestly kind of chronic. Um, I've, As in years, months? Yeah, yeah. so it um, gets worse when I study, do work, um, even on my phone, just anything. Um, Does it happen to be like when you're looking, when down, looking down in a book? Yeah. Okay. Um, or even when I'm driving. So there's a lot of daily activities that... You feel um, it. Yeah, definitely. So it's just been going on for years. And it's not constant, but... Um, I do feel it after a it while. It is consistent. It's consistent, okay. exactly. Um, and what is that pain like? Is it a sharp stabbing pain, a dull ache? Um, it's what is it mostly like a dull ache. Okay. Anything that makes it better that you've tried? Stretching, um, um, medication? Stretching, I do pop my joints a lot. Okay, so you do um, a lot of yeah. you know, neck relief in the cracking yeah. the joints. Okay. That is very temporary, however. Mm-hmm. But it does give you temporary relief. It does, for you know a few minutes. How how many times a day are you cracking your own neck? It's become just a mindless habit at this mm -hmm. point. So okay. I I mean not just my neck all over, but my neck in specific. I probably anytime I feel pain, I will sort of just impulsively start to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just becomes second nature. You don't yeah. even think about it. You just do yeah. it. Yeah. So on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no pain, completely comfortable, 10 being excruciating, heading to the hospital, where would you rate that pain in the neck when it's when it does get bad? It's like a 5, maybe. Okay, so it's fairly uncomfortable for you. Yeah, it's nowhere near hospital, but it is, you know, uncomfortable enough to interrupt my daily life. Okay, yeah, that's no good. Um, and what about right now at this very moment? What would you rate that level of pain or discomfort? It's... Honestly, it's about a five right now. Okay, it's at its worst. Yeah, I drove a bit today, so um, it's kind of flaring up at the moment. Okay. Um, any other joint pain or physical discomfort or injuries you've had in the last year or so? No injuries. Um, random pain in my back, shoulders, hips even. Today, um, I was at work and I sort of went because oh, my okay. hip started to not be very nice. So, um, and what do you mean? Um, did it like pop? Did it just feel like a grinding? Um, what is it that sensation almost kind like? Of gave out a little bit, like just got okay, weak weakness. all of a sudden and had a, a really sharp pain. But I was able to walk that off, and that does happen once in a while. So, okay. Um, have you had your blood work done recently? Any deficiencies that you know for sure of? I don't have any deficiencies that I know of. I mean, maybe I probably don't eat enough magnesium in my diet because I twitch, but that's the only thing okay. I can think of. Um, but Any numbness, tingling, any sort of sensory deficit? Nothing like that. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so I think I want to definitely do a full examination because you're having issues pretty much across the back, although it sounds like the neck is the biggest concern, correct? Definitely. Okay. So I will have you um, just swing around here and put your face into the chair so I can okay. examine the neck. And how is that height for you? That actually feels pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So do you mind removing the necklace? Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect, and I can just set that aside for you. Yeah. And while you're sitting up here, I actually just wanna, so sit, sit up just for a moment. I just wanna see the range of motion in the neck, okay? okay. So um, can you turn your head this way? Let's see how far it can go. Okay, and back to center, and the other way. And to the left, pain with that? No. Okay, can you go down for me? Pain or pulling with that? No. Back all the way. How's that feel? Good. Okay. So, ear to shoulder. 
and the other side for me. Okay, range of motion is very good actually, so go ahead and settle down in here. I'm just going to put the hair up in a clip. Comfortable for you? Yeah. Okay. Take a look at the back. Just want to note anything obvious bruising or major swelling, redness, things that could indicate you had some sort of fall or impact, but you said you didn't remember doing anything specifically, right? Right. Back looks pretty good. Just gonna feel for temperature. I am noticing just that the left shoulder is a little bit lower than the right shoulder, just upon initial inspection. Not too bad. Kyphosis here actually, so it's not too much of a little um, hump here is often seen when you crane over your neck too much, but it's really not that bad. A little higher on this right side as well, on the mid back. Higher on the way, whole way down. So we'll have to possibly put that back into place, but I'm just going to be feeling everything, okay? Any pain when I press down like that? No, that's fine. Does it relieve any of the pain? It feels nice. Okay. Feeling a tremendous amount of tightness and tension in this upper back here. Feel how hard yeah. that is? Definitely. Okay. Feel into the neck now. I don't feel a ton of tension up here, but I feel quite a lot right here. Mm -hmm. That big lump right there and here. The neck itself actually doesn't feel too bad. I'm just feeling for some of the joints in here too. Definitely already popped them today, I can tell. <laughs> okay. So those probably won't, I won't be able to crack those because you've already released the gas. Mm -hmm. Feeling down the spine, the muscles that line the spine. Yeah. That painful at all? No. Okay, just make sure there's nothing wrong with the kidneys. That could be leading to those sharp spikes in pain that you were feeling. Right. going to again just take a quick listen to the lungs I just it concerns me just a little bit that you're having like sharp pains shoot around so let's just make sure there's nothing that I'm hearing that would be concerning this is gonna be a little cold okay. just take take a normal breath every time you feel me touch you Two more, one here, and one here. Okay. Lung signs are clear, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna be sort of tapping on you now. It's gonna create a little impact. I want you to tell me if there's any pain or tenderness or especially any like nerve pain that shoots down the spine, okay? okay.
going down the spine now. That all feels okay? Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with a slightly harder stimuli. Again, hitting my hand first, then your back. Same thing, tell me if anything shoots pain or any of those sharp pains that you've experienced come out. the soreness it's not pain but just tightness you can tight. feel that yeah. it feels tender when I right. hit on it okay yeah it is really tight but what's weird about it is it's very movable still mm -hmm. you have a lot of flexibility are you a very flexible person I'd like to think so <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely a lot of uh, flexibility in muscles and the skin as well so even though it's really swollen and tight it, it's still moving pretty good possibly because you're constantly pushing that mobility and that uh, flexibility by cracking your own neck and pulling right mm -hmm. every time you crack you sort of pull on your head and stretch this muscle right here right. but I almost wonder if you're having little you know, it's sore or little slight micro tears from over stretching when you do that to yourself. That's do you possible. Do you pull on your head with your hand at all or you just crack with moving your neck? Uh, sometimes I move my neck, sometimes I push my chin over because I need to get the ones in the back a little more. Okay, yeah, so you might be hyperextending actually. So I'm gonna do my nervoscope here. It's essentially going to look for temperature variations underneath the, the surface along the spine. And that can tell us where you're having some swelling or um, issues with the spinal structure. So you'll feel these two little prongs, just like that, okay. come down the back. I'm just going to put on a little bit of... Um, are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. Just a little bit of lubricant so that it doesn't scrape the skin too much, okay? Perfect. I'm going to just be running it down the oh, huge swing, huge swing right off the back, right on the neck. Just going to mark that there. Right there. Right back. Whoa. So you're having some really big swings here. Okay. Just gonna pull this down a little. Okay, let's try the next setting. I'm just checking different settings for different precision. That's all fine here. And last one. That's okay, actually. Okay. 
So it looks like you have two big variations right here in the neck, two here in the mid back, and one sort of in the mid to lower back. Okay. All right. I'm going to see where your spine is, um, at least about here. So I'm going to first feel up the spine, sensing for if there's any scoliosis. Have you ever been told that you had scoliosis? No. Okay, yeah, it feels pretty straight. But I can feel quite a bit of swelling right here. Okay. Okay, then it's back fine here. Swelling here. Can we mark where the spine is here? I'm just going to wipe off the back here. of lavender um, cleanser, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So I'm just marking where I feel the spine, then I'll measure it after. Vertebrae are pretty spread out there, the neck. So to press a little harder here to feel. Okay. So for this upper back, you can I can see just from my markings. Vertebrae are spread out too far here. They're squished together here. Very common for craning your neck down. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters. And two and three quarters, two, one and a half, one and a half, one, one, one. So before we start doing any sort of adjustments or putting your back into place, I want to do a really, really quick sensor exam just to make sure uh, there's no issues with the spine or the connection to the spinal cord to the brain before we start moving you around and cracking you, okay? Sounds good. So I've got just a little cotton swab. I'm just going to do two, two quick tests here. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Good. And then, what does that feel like to you? Vibration. What about here? A little more vibration. Just cold. Just cold pressure. Okay. I'm going to be using a sharp tool, and it is quite sharp, okay? Okay. So I want you to just tell me if it feels um, any different going down the back, or if it's sharp all the way. Feel the same? Yeah, sharp all the way. Here? Mm-hmm. Sharp here? Yep. Okay. So sensation is intact and I'm not really worried about anything in that um, sense. So I'm going to start out with one adjustment. I'm not actually going to adjust the neck today because you've already cracked all of these. I'm not going to be able to get any of them. Um, so I will just have you take a deep breath in. I'm going to be popping this shoulder down. One, two, three. Good. another deep breath. I'm just going to try and reset the ribs here, okay? And out. Okay, good. Oof. <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's do a little bit of soft tissue work here. And how, is, how are you with pain tolerance? Should oh. I be gentle or... Um, you don't have to be. I'm all okay. Right. Just um, if it gets to be too intense, because you are very tight here, mm -hmm. just please tell me, because I don't want to hurt you, but we do want to be able to break through some of that fascia, okay? Good pain. Good pain, <laughs> yes, exactly. Good. 
We have a lot of um, knots here. Mm -hmm. Basically all that is is the muscle fibers sort of intertwining and latching onto each other, creating these bumps, adhesions. You just kind of need to massage out, get them to let go. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of knots. Yeah. Yeah, you're very, um, you're very, very tight and tense here. Do you do any stretching or yoga or anything like that? I do a little bit of stretching. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't exercise a ton. Okay. You're also turning quite red to my touch here, um, which is normal, but again, if it gets too intense, you just let me know. Oh, it feels good. Okay. There's sort of two layers here. There's this muscle tension that I'm trying to massage out. But then as I come up here, this is all swelling. And I can massage out some of that swelling, but some of it is only gonna go down with consistency and stretching, mm -hmm. doing a bit of gua sha, getting the toxins moving. Feel all the crunchies underneath there. Oh, yeah. Give that side a break. You put your arm behind. Yep, just like that. I just want to get under the shoulder blade. Good, we broke that one up. Let's give a little bit of a break here. I'm just going to take a look here. I want to look at some of this petechia that's coming up and just see what the pattern looks like. Just a little bit of bruising. Go away in a few days. I'm going to squeeze the neck up here a little bit. Work up into this occipital lobe. Does that feel tender up there at all? No, this part feels amazing. Okay, good. Yeah. I can definitely feel quite a lot of tension and swelling right here. Yeah. Again, not uncommon for someone who looks down a lot. I'm more concerned about those um, sharp pains. Because being so quick like that, it almost feels like a nerve thing or... Mm -hmm. Those are more in my lower back. In your lower back yeah. down here. Here or down yeah, here? Um, anywhere below that. Anywhere lower. Like into the hips, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Feel that just a second. I'm just going to go up into the scalp a little here. Pretty bruising. Just a little bit of swelling, redness. Okay, let's get 
getting a little warm. So I just want to be considerate of not overdoing it. So you said the pain was more down in this area, like yeah. in the sacrum? Yeah, or even on the sides. Like on the hips? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the hips might, that might not even be like a spine thing. That mm -hmm. might be a hip thing. Yeah. Maybe there's a, a touch of bursitis in the hip socket where you're grinding. Okay. Alright, I'm going to do one more adjustment on you here. And it's just going to be trying to, again, there's the side's just a little higher, so I just want to try and get that lower down into place. So again, one deep breath in for me, please. And out. Good. Okay. Feeling again. Let's do the... Last time. Rechecking. Way better in the neck there. Neck feels a lot better. Go down to the rest of the spine. Still a slight variation in this low back. I'm gonna try one more adjustment, okay? Okay. Breathe in for me and out. That's a lot better. Just gonna feel now again. So there's still quite a bit of tension. Uh, I think you should feel a little bit looser after a little bit of that, breaking up some of that um, scar tissue and swelling, but for the neck problem, I'm gonna send you home with some stretches to do, okay? It's all about inversion. It's all about taking the head backwards like that mm -hmm. and putting some pressure off of because every time you put your head down, these muscles are working. It's not actually a relaxed position for these muscles. So we need to put these, shorten these muscles so they can be in a relaxed position. All right. I'm going to stick your head back in there. Um, I'll just have you um, get yourself together and turn you around and we'll, we'll discuss about next steps. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Delaney, so um, I'm going to refer you for those stretches. I also want to uh, have you get an x-ray of your lower back. I want to see what's going on with those hips, and we can have you back for another session for those, okay? okay. Um, how are you feeling? How's everything feeling? Good, a little more relaxed. Okay, can you do that range of motion for me again? Turn all the way that way. Any looser? Yeah, definitely. Come back this way. Looks like good range of motion. Maybe a couple more degrees down. How does that feel? Good. Okay, head back. So again, I think I've provided you with just a little bit of temporary relief. I think if you don't change those behaviors of like looking down, um, close, keeping your shoulders closed off, you're gonna continue to feel that discomfort. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably just, I'll do the x-ray for the lower back and the neck just as well. It's a lot there. Um, but I didn't feel anything like a slip disc or anything like that. Okay, okay? well that's good. Yes. Uh, so we'll make sure with the x-ray, but I hope you feel better and we'll get, we'll get this figured out for you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.